The report uh, that uh, we uh, saw today presented uh, is, uh, I would say, a very strong uh, document. Uh, maybe one of the most serious researches made in the Balkan media market. Uh, I would say uh, many, uh, many of its findings are rather relevant uh, for the media market in many more countries in Europe, uh, not only uh, Bulgaria. And of course, uh, it's uh, very interesting to compare uh, the approach in, uh, in different countries, because as I said today in my presentation, uh, the reason for, uh, for which uh, Sebastian Kurz stepped down just a few days ago uh, is a common everyday practice on each level of government in Bulgaria. So if uh, we impose the same standard, I would say a very decent, a reasonable standard, uh, which caused the resignation of courts in Bulgaria, uh, we will uh, just uh, fall short of candidates for prime minister because no one is answering this standard. What do you think needs to be done? And, and we're here in, the, you're here in Brussels, we're at the heart of the EU. What can the European Commission do? What can the EU do to change this situation? Uh, first thing, and uh, it's a very big change that I think we need, uh, is we need uh, to definitely stop media funding through European programs. Uh, because we see uh, everywhere in uh, uh, Central and Eastern Europe that European progr programs being managed by the executive. Uh, always this media funding uh, goes to build up uh, friendly uh, media and uh, even, I would say, pro-government biased media. Uh, of course, we need uh, funding for media products, for high-quality media products, uh, but I think it should be a direct funding uh, of the Commission, as with uh, so many business uh, projects that we have, as with InvestEU and, uh, uh, and other programs. Uh, because, you know, just last week in Strasbourg, in, uh, in plenary, I po pointed out uh, a huge uh, uh, paradox. In Bulgaria, you have uh, many media uh, with one hand receiving European funds uh, through European programs and in the same time promoting toxic uh, anti-vaccine propaganda. And uh, you know that we have a, a tremendous problem with the vaccination rates in Bulgaria. Uh, so this, this paradox could not be allowed. No anti-vaxxer media could receive European money. Or, or media fighting outward uh, against the Istanbul Convention and uh, promoting the, the toxic propaganda against the Convention. Uh, the same media receive millions and millions of, uh, of euros every year through European programs. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a rather grisly paradox, I would say. We've got presidential elections coming up in Bulgaria. Michael Borisov has been removed from office. Uh, do you have any high hopes uh, with the new government, with new elections? Uh, we have third election in a row for, uh, for the same year. Two parliament uh, failed uh, to, to build a majority and to uh, vote uh, a government, which is a really, really troubling situation because we have our national recovery and resilience plan not uh, filed in the commission yet, even I would say not, not really ready. Uh, we have a very difficult diplomatic situation with North Mac Macedonia, which cannot be resolved uh, uh, without a uh, working parliament. Uh, we have uh, a significant, I would say, uh, a very, very significant delay with our national uh, climate uh, policy programs. And we are uh, once again bound uh, by a decision of the parliament. So we need a stable government, uh, a stable parliament. And then we are also on the same day uh, as these third elections in a row, uh, we are also electing a president, either the incumbent uh, or a new one, at least two strong pretenders on, uh, on the field we see. Uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a rather unpredictable situation. Uh, however, I hope uh, that uh, a coalition government will be built after the, the elections. It will be very difficult, but it is possible this time.